What it do? This your man. Y'all already know what it is. Y'all already know how we do it here at Ghetto Talk. So without further ado, we're going to get right on into this video. Now, that's the main question people want to ask. Erica says that's just nasty. It is nasty, goddammit. Erica Michelle. Mm -hmm. Here's the question that men want to ask about they woman. This is the question that Phil. Oh, Lord. Abe. Phil, he bringing you in it, Phil. Craig. Niall. Maka. This is the question every man want to ask any woman regarding another. What kind of dick did he put up in you? Wait, just go oh. relax a second. Now listen, uh -huh. we're going to get Oh, it. what? Oh, why? That's oh what God. the man want to know. Did he rearrange your inside? You gonna learn what a long dick look like today. Which is no fun. Stop the cap. No fun to you. Yeah. These bitches out here sit on motherfucking well, uh, fire so, hydrants so when ain't nobody around. <laughs> <laughs> when they need that, they need that arm. But your man worry about the type of dick you sat on from the other guy. She must be getting him some pussy or Mr. something. Mr. Turner. That's a question that no, nobody want to no, really ask. Wanna Phil, you shaking they, your head like no. I was no. going to say, they Not might me. have that thought, but they don't really want to know. Yeah. Wait, yeah, wait, wait, say it again. you, Phil. That's funny. Just come on in here, Phil. No, Phil don't want to come on, Phil. <laughs> Phil say he ain't never been concerned you, Phil. about Neither have I. dick that was shoved Thank up you. in him. Thank you, Phil. This is some insecure shit over here. <laughs> I didn't say you was insecure, but you're insecure about this question because you worried about what kind of dick is being shoved. <laughs> <laughs> Phil say, I worry about my dick being shoved. <laughs> Why you put well, you a selfish away? lover, Phil. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know Macca was up there. Oh, that's right. I gave him <laughs> what happened? Macca, did you hear what Phil just said? Phil said he don't care what kind of dick get pushed up in, his, in the girl he said, all he worried about it is dick. Now, if you're trying to build a relationship with a girl, I think it's natural for you to worry about what kind of dick she just sat on. <laughs> Mac over there. See, oh, <laughs> Corey, you might be in on this by yourself, <laughs> homie. Mac laughed. He not true. If it's a girl that I'm trying to be with, not a girl I'm not trying to be with, let's say your wife step out on you or your girlfriend step out on you. Ain't the first question you going to ask is, bitch, what's been pushed up in you? And you know this, man. <laughs> That's funny. I'm like, you really going to get the truth. I've oh, never acquired. Some girls tell the truth, Darlene, by the way. You didn't yeah, know Yeah, okay. They could actually, actually lie on it, too, to make what's you feel bad. What's good from Richmond, Corey? Uh, really, <laughs> you'll think it's the truth. Corey Bless made my sorry. dying friend day. Yeah. Fan forever. Care. Respect. Respect. Brother, yeah, respect, brother. You, yeah. you don't care. Wait, wait, Darlene. Let's listen to this fake shit. What you don't care about? <laughs> I not, didn't say that. He did. I did. I did. Oh, I, I said thought, I, I don't. We, that's all, we that's still all, coming back you to you, Darlene. That's why I turned around. <laughs> I really, all I care about is why you st why you stop fucking with old oh boy. Why y'all break up? Because it's not you. all about. That's that. another way of asking. <laughs> no, <laughs> no. I mean, like you know, because I want to see if she gonna say if any part of it was her fault. Because you know, chicks that may lead you to believe if you're a square that everything was your fault. I know a girl who stepped out on her husband and her husband left her. Her husband left her. Now, this ain't fact. This is my opinion. Your husband left you because foreign dick been in his glory hole. If you want to be a woman of substance in a man's life, keep the pussy in his power. He ain't lying. Do not give your pussy away to nobody else if you want to keep him because forever he gonna ask, 
Did y'all see that movie where they said for a million dollars you sleep for? Yeah, uh, no, I was about to say Basic Instinct. That ain't Basic no. Instinct. No, Indecent proposal. proposal. What Woody Harrelson say? He said, after, after, after the argument, then he said, was he good? Was it good sex? Don't do this, David. Can you just tell me that, D? Is it good? What are you hesitating for? Just... <laughs> she should have said hey. And what she say? Yeah. All right, I'll tell you. You know what? The man was a fucking stallion, David. Is that what you want me to say? We did it all night long. Does that do it for you? Oh, what do you want me to tell you? He was hung like a bull. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> no. Yeah. Watch Gloria the movie. What if she Watch the movie. What if she used to be with a stud? Do you talk to her about that? No, women with a stud is insane. They for fucking. Anyway, but I'm saying like... <laughs> hey, man, all I'm saying is this, man. When your girl step out, dog, what that other dude do to her can influence her in a way where you are not the man you used to be. Do we disagree with that? Y'all can tell me. Say it one more time. Yeah. When your girl gets fucked by another person, you can lose your influence permanently okay. in her life. If, yeah, for sure. Just because you let her get away with it. Right. If your girl step out on you, the only way y'all can make it, if she don't call the police after you discipline her. <laughs> oh, Lord. You are mine now. You belong to me. <laughs> if she just take that and be like, I had that coming, we can build from there. Or train your dog to attack her. You ain't got to touch her. Just... Right. If your girl try to pet your dog, I, I don't go near him. <laughs> After a while, the dog will be like, hey, bitch, didn't you hear? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, at that point, it's a, it's a goner. Yeah, Somebody say, that's why I don't have kids. I don't get it. Wait, what? Somebody lose that bitch, too. Wait, what? Yeah, I get it. No, they saying you can lose her. Sure. And yeah. it just seemed like it's just an act, right? But I have girls that I can still be around if they mess with somebody else. Because I don't have that intention by them to put them as my side by side. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I think that uh, you got to be bigger than a woman's emotions. So. But can you have a girl that you know mess with other guys, Craig? Hell no! That's good enough. I've had that before, but that's a different... I mean, I've had it. I mean, shit, man. It's, I'm going to do what I'm going to do every time. So regardless of what a woman is doing, I'm always going to run my program the way it's supposed to be ran, you know, so... I just say I'm never going to let a woman's actions knock me off my course. If she does something that opens my eyes to who she really is, and I just, I just accept her for that. But if she stick around and continue to come around after doing some egregious shit like that, I'm definitely going to put her to work. You know what I'm saying? Is it always egregious? What if she told you? She was like, I just want you to know I got about two other guys I'm f***ing with. Then it's not egregious. It's not egregious. I just don't like the women who you know they f with other people and they want the respect of a woman that's only f with you. Right. That's the problem. <laughs> yeah, but do you ask them why are they here or as being who you are, do you just give them instructions if you're around, this is what needs to be well, done? Well, I know why I bitch around. Me, I'm a boss ass. Right. <laughs> I'm just keeping it real, nigga. I ain't who I was when I was young, nigga. I was the dunk creator. Now, I'm just a nigga who can help you if you need some help. <laughs> and that goes a long way because there's a lot of bitches need help. Oh, man, what a topic, right? As far as a woman cheating and, you know, her man asking her about what the other guy did or how he uh, had sex with you or whatever, or how, how he made you feel good, you'll never get the truth. They will never give you the truth. So you can just forget about it. You can probably uh, wonder what she did and all that, but the woman, she never gonna give you the truth. A woman should just be straight up. If you a whore, then let me know that you a whore. Why 
I smell a whore? You know, at least give me that that chance to decide if I want to even go further, you know, with the relationship or whatever you want to call it. A lot of women, you got to, you know, like really, I guess after a while, you know, you with that woman, you will see how she really is. You know, if she talking to a lot of guys or, you know what I'm saying, if she, if she being like, you know, sneaky and all that shit, you know. Hello. So what you what you doing? Girl, what you doing? Nothing. With my friend. Can you order me some food? Yeah, what you want? Uh I think is Chick fil A still open? Uh, no. Oh, okay. Uh probably like Applebee's. Applebee's, yeah. Applebee's? Mm -hmm. You into that? No, that's why I'm asking you to send me some food. Uh what you want? Um Hold on. What you want? Get, uh, just get whatever. I'm gonna eat whatever. Can I, um, can you do the, the two for 20? It's the, the loaded mashed potatoes, the chicken, and then the, the fajitas. She just got And two, two large lemonades. The fajitas, and then, yeah, the two for 20. Two for 20? Mm-hmm. What you need two minutes for? Cause, yeah, it's me and my friend. We hungry. Okay, so just send it. Don't be like that. What you mean, don't be like that? Let me see your friend. Why do you want to? Don't, like, don't do that. You are not my dad. First of all, where, you, where you at, though? I'm, um, downtown. They ain't tell me downtown. Yeah. Why are you acting like that? Are you going to send it or not? Shit. <laughs> Why are you laughing? I don't know. Okay, well, send it. Tell me, like, what's going on? I'm hungry. Where the fuck you need? Two drinks for uh because we have two throats. Duh. I ain't, I ain't never seen you eat that much. Okay, I'm gonna share with my friend and I wanna share my whole meal, so I was just gonna get her her own. No, I'm not getting her, I got you. Okay, we'll just still get the two large drinks and just get like some fries on the side too and like yeah, you're on some weird shit. How am I on some no, you're on some weird shit. You want some insecure shit. What the fuck? Insecure shit? That's what I'm yeah. But you ain't never had friends, now you got friends. Okay, so because I have friends now you're mad because you don't have no friends? I'm just saying, tell that bitch about her own food. Or tell that nigga about his own food. Now it's, okay. Now it's, now it's about a nigga. Yeah. Okay. Well, you broke and ain't got it anyway, so I'm gonna just leave it at that. <laughs> now what we, we gonna, gonna eat? eat? <laughs> what we gonna eat? Oh, that's that crazy. Place. You can't ever get tired. I'm tired of eating that food. I know you're tired of eating this dick up. You don't even know. That's crazy. It's <laughs> McDonald's. McDonald's is crazy. I'm not eating that shit. <laughs> you can find out later on, but I just, it'll just be cool for a woman to tell a dude straight up. Look, just like Corey said, I got other dudes that I, I mess with. You know, you're not the only guy that I mess with. A man like me, I wouldn't deal with no woman like that. You know what I'm saying? Because first of all, I don't like... A, a, another dude's sloppy seconds. Some women tend to, when they break up with a guy, you know, they'll try to talk about his penis size and stuff like that. You try to put a dude down or whatever because they are butt hurt, right? But a woman wouldn't know if this man penis is small if she didn't mess with multiple dudes, if you get where I'm coming from. You know, you have to mess with another dude to find out that another man is small. It, it, it'll just be cool if a woman let a man know, look, I'm a whore. I like de dealing with, with, with different dudes and, you know, and it, it is what it is. I wouldn't want a woman to be, to, to be a whore. I would want a woman to get married to this one dude, have kids by this one dude, Right, not multiple men having different baby daddies or whatnot. No. And then Corey brought up as far as, you know, a woman cheating and a man, you know, whooping on her. You know, and that's like, they, they getting off easy with that. You know, because if you go on the biblical days, it was, you know, it was ending, you know, somebody existence. It wasn't no beating or nothing like that. It was getting stoned to, to D. Y'all know what I'm saying. It's, 
It's a little sensitive here on YouTube, but uh, it was a lot more vicious back in the biblical days, which I feel like we should go back to the biblical days because the women out here today, she belongs to the street. They do not care. They wear a badge of whoredom right on their chest. Like it's, it's, it's a good thing and it's not, it's terrible. And it's like, what are you teaching your daughters? What are you teaching your daughter? You, you teaching your daughters that this type of uh, actions is okay? You raggedy bitch. Not my daughter. I'm teaching my daughter. You only want one man out your whole life. Y'all leave me a comment. Tell me what y'all think about that. You know, tell me, do y'all think I'm wrong for instructing my daughter the way I'm instructing her? This your man. Y'all already know what it is. Up, OG, triple, the next OG. video is OG, triple, triple. Up out OG. of here. Peace.